Hey guys, it's me again. Yes, Nathaniel was right. In some sense, probabilistic ODE servers are common filters, but there are some practical differences. And by now you might be wondering, how hard is it to actually build one of these bad boys yourself? And the answer is, it's easier than you think, because we've done it for you. A little bit of history. A good year ago, a bunch of people in this group decided to throw everything that we know about probabilistic numerics into one joint software project. And this is how Problem was born. It's a project we're still actively working on, so if you decide to use it, expect some rough edges. But at this point of the video, feel free to pause, click on that link, check out the documentation, look at the example notebooks, but don't forget to come back to this video here and listen to the rest of my story. How do you use Problem to solve differential equations? If you know how to use SciPy, then you kind of know how to use problem. Let's look at a concrete example. Here we're solving the logical terror system of equations. We define our right hand side f, we define initial value y0. And if we were to solve this with SciPy, we'd import solve IVP and call it, uh, call it on these ODE parameters, and we'd obtain one of those solution objects. In problem, since we're doing probabilistic numerics, we we'll import prop solve IVP and do the same function call. Again, we obtain some sort of solution objects. How do these solution objects compare? Let's look at the result of this little code snippet. From this plot, it's clearly evident how superior the problem output is, right? No, jokes aside, so far they look the same. You can evaluate both solutions in between grid points, you can do extrapolation, everything looks identical. However, as great as SciPy is, this is where its capabilities stop. In problem, we have a full posterior, so for example, we can plot standard deviations, or we can even draw joint samples from this posterior. And if this is something for you, go ahead and check out the problem code. Hang on, is that all the library you can do? That's a great question. No, we can do more than that. Next to all of the filtering-based probabilistic ODE solvers, as well as the filtering and smoothing implementations, which, by the way, you can use on their own as well, there are other branches of probabilistic numerics represented in problem. For example, there's probabilistic linear algebra or probabilistic numerical integration. So go to the website, Check the documentation, see whether there is something for you, let us know what you think, and until then, enjoy the remaining videos.